portable power stations have really changed camping and overlanding. And I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what I'm using right now and some of the things that I'm powering with my portable power station. So let's grab the River 2 Pro out of the back of the Demonator. The rain has stopped here for a second. And this is my rough setup, but it kind of gives you an idea of how easy it is to say bring a fridge, which I'll show you a little sneak peek of something here in a second. There's a new fridge coming out that doesn't need to connect to a battery at all. Um, I run the Delta 2 over here as sort of the main power system for the Jeep that's charging all the time. And then off of that, I can run my fridge, I can charge, I can charge all my camera batteries and anything else I might need. But what's really changed for the Demonator build is I had been thinking a lot about, well, running power up to my rooftop tent and into the bed and being able to run and charge devices at night and at camp when I wanna, you know, cook meals and stuff. But then I got the new River 2 Pro, which has solved some challenges for me, and that's being higher capacity inverter, higher watt inverter, and having a larger capacity battery because this has almost the same size battery in there as the Delta 2 does. It just doesn't have as big of an inverter, but it's much smaller and much lighter. Let me unplug it to uh, pull out and carry around. You see this, I'm carrying it in front of me with one arm. And I've just pulled the Jeep out of the rain a little bit because we probably don't want to do a video about power stations in the rain. But what I've been doing and save me a whole bunch of wiring installation and allow me to put my back seats in when I need it is I can put the fridge, my Delta II, those stay in there. And then I have the River 2 Pro, which I can grab and pull out and place wherever I want because it's so compact, light, and portable. And, and so you can charge this several different ways. You can charge this with both 110, which it will charge very, very fast. I think it's as fast as like 70 minutes, or you can charge it through a DC source. So this is the port that you can use for either solar panels or your 12 volt uh, car charging plug in your vehicle. And you can also trickle charge this over USB-C, which I didn't even know about. And I actually read the manual on this, but, uh, but nothing is quite as fast as charging it through AC. So what I like is now I can just grab this out of here. I don't have to worry about wiring a bunch of stuff up to my rooftop tent on the uh, Demonator. I can just grab this and easily carry it up into my, my tent. Let me show you a, a photo. I put my little super furnace portable heater. So I've decided I am not bringing a diesel heater with me everywhere I go. Uh, too much of a pain and carrying diesel and everything. I can just bring these two things up into my tent and well, you can't run this all night, but what you can do is before you go to bed, you can plug this in, you can have this on and you can take out your EcoFlow app on your phone, which connects to all your different devices and uh, sneak peek, there's the glacier, which I'll tell you about in a second, but I can't tell you too much. And what you can do is from camp, sitting by the fire, when you're about to get ready for bed, you flick on the inverter with the app and the inverter is gonna kick on. And you can see we have about 37 minutes running this at full, 35 minutes at full. So you have to use it sparingly. I'll use it to heat my tent up. And in the morning, same thing. I don't need to be running a heater all night. And if it's really cold in my tent, well, two things. I have a really good sleeping bag. And inside there, if it's really cold, is what this is here is a heated sleeping pad. And this isn't like a regular heating pad. This one is actually powered by USB. And so what I'll do is right when I come to bed, when I'm getting into, into my tent, I'll plug this into the USB port. I'll fire this on to red and see we're barely using any wattage at all. Nine watts, right? This will heat up. Now this has a couple heating zones in it and it's not super hot, but if it's inside your sleep system, inside under, underneath your sheet for your quilt or inside your sleeping bag, or you can get the sleeping bag that actually has this all built into it, which I've been using for a while as well. A little bit of heat inside a already really warm sleep system, passive sleep system is very, very warm and will keep you warm through almost anything. So I prefer to go with this rather than a diesel heater, which could, you know, 
clunk out in the middle of the night, stop work. And then I do have a smaller heater. I've found that the larger, higher wattage heaters are more efficient at heating up your tent than a small heater that you have to run for quite a while. Now I have a couple other things here. Uh, one that I've been using all the time and one that I have been thinking about using, but this is my morning espresso machine. Now, if you've saved enough power in your River 2 Pro overnight and you haven't run your heater too much overnight and you save enough power for your espresso machine in the morning. So basically I get up, I pop a pod in here. I don't have to boil any water. I just put a little bit of water in my reservoir and I put my coffee cup under here and you can see it's drawing about 800 watts while it heats up and it just takes, you know, about 30 seconds to heat up and it'll maybe use one to 3% to make a coffee. And it uses less each subsequent pod that you put in here and make your morning coffee. So you don't have to get anything out. You just grab this, plug it in, boom, you're ready to go. And the other thing too is you can recharge these. You can recharge your power station while you're out driving. If you're staying at camp, you can bring some of the solar panels. EcoFlow makes these really compact solar panels that fold up inside here. So we'll stop that before we get water everywhere. Before I get to the last thing, which I think is one of the things that I think is the least talked about, and I'll show you this here, but I wanted to just give you, you know, a glimpse of this coming in a future video. This is the EcoFlow Glacier. This is their new portable fridge. A couple unique features that I'll show you in the, in the full video about this coming up, but I've never seen this on a fridge yet. Let me just cover a couple features with the River 2 Pro that I know you guys are gonna ask me down in the questions. So this has a 768 watt hour capacity battery in it. It is a lithium iron phosphate battery. They call it a Life 4 battery, but these are basically good for 3000 charge cycles. So that may not seem like a lot, but that's charging at one time a day, every day for 10 years, guys. So that's, that's a lot of charge cycles and it's a lot more than some of the other battery compositions in older batteries. And EcoFlow is warranting these now for five years. As well as I showed you, this is super light. This is 17 pounds, super easy to carry around, bring into your tent if you want to, uh, move it around on your tailgate or maybe over closer to the fire to hang out and power devices. Uh, the inverter is 800 watts, but it can surge to 1600 watts depending on what else is plugged in here. And so the what else for me is actually an indu inductive. So this is a flat top inductive cook cooking thing. I mean, it's like, uh, you know, a single burner propane or butane or whatever portable stove. It's about the same size. It's super light, uh, super easy to carry around. Um, and so I've been thinking like, can we just, you know, use this to cook and when we don't have to bring a camp stove and we don't have to bring gas and everything like that. So this here only works when you have a metal frying pan or a pot and we put it on here, we turn it on just like that, just like that. So right now it's set to 1200, but we can turn it up and down just like a normal gas stove that we would be camping with. I don't know, should we try to cook, cook something? Hot dog, level 1000. Sizzling a hot dog. We're drawing 800 watts, but we could turn this down. Now I guess the only downside to cooking all with electricity is if it's raining, I might be, uh, you wanna make sure this is in a dry covered area. We've got quite a bit of cook time here. And this is, even at level 400, this is sizzling away. And we can crank this way up if we need to, you know, boil water all the way up to 1800, which I think this is gonna push the, the River 2 Pro all the way to uh, its limit, but lots of cooking time on here. I don't know if this is a complete replacement for a gas stove yet or not. Certainly something to think about, and as we get higher capacity, you can get the, the Delta 2 with the expansion battery. The Delta 2 Max is coming out, which is probably gonna be like 3,000 watt hours or something, and so three times this size. You could do a lot of cooking on a uh, portable power station. So if you're wanting to pick one of these up, they are 
currently just launching on EcoFlow's website. They're $5.99 US, which is really, really coming down in price for these portable power stations. I'll put a link down below in a pinned comment as well as the description if you want to grab one and uh, check them out. But I've been using a lot of EcoFlow products over the last little while and uh, I've been quite happy with all of them and so stay tuned. I'm gonna finish packing up the Demonator. I'm heading down to Moab to go to Easter Jeep Safari, do some camping, overlanding, and off-roading. If you have any questions about EcoFlow stuff, let me know, leave them down below. And as I said, I'll put a link in the description and pin comment if you wanna check out the new EcoFlow River 2 Pro for yourself. And uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.